what is the purpose of this debug one okay you anything basically you have put something in this one you have to troubleshoot the logic what you have written or where the things are going wrong then the debug is the primary thing which enable for you to do it and uh, this also provides an opportunity or the interface for the observability and also controllability of the internal components if at all something has gone wrong i have to troubleshoot then in that context i have to change the uh, change the state or some programming then the controllability of the components uh, is more important but how do we what are the various industry standard interfaces which actually enable this one primarily the first one is the jtag i think in last session my colleague actually might have covered on all this jtag interface it's a five pin interface a slow speed one and usually with this interface we have a standard uh, debuggers which are available which gets connected and then can be used for the debugging why do we use this jtag only for the debugging purpose why can't we use the other one basically all the jtag is an industry standard uh, interface which is defined for the uh, for actually uh, debugging purpose what, what is the reason it has an individual controls which run at very slow speed and then you can bring the state like to a reset state immediately with some few clock operations and that's the reason primarily jtag interface is used for the debug the next one happens to be on the view pins okay view pins are basically for the observability as we discussed right we have a pll we say okay pll i need to run at 2 gigahertz because my processor is there. but how do you know really processor is running at 2 gigahertz then what we have is we will route some signals and say that yeah really the pll clock is basically running at 2 gigahertz added to that not only that that is one option that is for the observability then we also have like pll did pll get locked or not what is happening inside the pll because once you develop an soc you do not have any clue what is going on inside then this view pins and the jtag interface will enable you to observe this one and the last one what we have is the trace as i in indicated the complete program execution a processor complete execution flow is transferred through the trace interface from the processor to the respective memory or external interface usually earlier we used to have the trace data which can be logged into the memory but given the complexity of the processor execution and also the requirement for the online debug uh, methodology the trace data is transferred through the high speed ethernet or through the pci express because right now the debug or any of the development right it is not confined to a particular location because we have people across from various uh, sites or various locations across the globe with that what happens is a development system or a debug is being uh, is being tested at a particular location then the interface or the debug information has to be passed on to the other people on the other locations then usually all the people used to come to the common sites and then do it but right now given the restrictions of the travel and due to covid what we do is basically with this uh, a uh, deep trace data interface they can remotely access that data and can start debugging and that's where this debug interfaces also this trace data becomes more important